So Alex started walking when he was nine months old. Um, when he was about a year and a half, my aunt and uncle watched Alex walk and immediately they knew something was wrong. Within a couple days, we were up here at the Children's Hospital and I'll never forget that appointment. Neurology did a CT, or they did an MRI to see if he had a brain tumor. And I'll remember that appointment forever. She came into the room and she said, I'm sorry to tell you, your son does not have a brain tumor. He's got ataxia telangiectasia. It was probably one of the worst, worst states of our life. If you imagine the worst symptoms of uh, cystic fibrosis, muscular dystrophy, cerebral palsy, immune deficiencies and cancer, that describes AT perfectly. It's very rare. There's about 500 cases in North America. Oh, oh, so Alex is a, is a lovely boy uh, that we follow for many years uh, since his diagnosis of ataxia telangiectasia, which is a type of uh, genetic uh, problem uh, that has an immune deficiency in, uh, as part of the as part of his, of his syndrome. We, what we do is we try to keep him healthy from his immune system point of view uh, and so he's, uh, we're, being, we, we're protecting him as much as possible so his immune system is strong uh, even when we can't do too much for his uh, neurological problems. Some people can't get immunized for various medical reasons and by getting immunized, um, and by getting your kids immunized, you really are helping protect not only your kids but the people around them who might not be able to get immunized. To some people, you know, getting the measles isn't a big deal, but for Alex, if he were to come into contact with somebody and he were to develop a respiratory complication from pneumonia, he could die. Please, please vaccinate your kids. Kids like Alex rely on everyone around them. Together, we do amazing things every day.